It's the NFL on EA Sports. And this one features the Saints, Rocket Arm quarterback. He's a top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Saints and the Bucks next on Madden Football. Here come the Saints for their opening drive. Leading him out is their rookie quarterback, the young man from the University of Michigan. And he comes to the end of the season leading the NFL in passing yards. And that's not necessarily something you set out to do at the beginning of the year, but it's a good illustration of how remarkable and consistent he's been all season. Throwing to start the drive. Barber flush to his right. He's got a man complete. Chris Olave, his 26th touchdown, drawing even with Marshall Falk for the fourth most in a single season. And the Saints are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed. Aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that every... Throwing to start the drive. Barber. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. 14 yards. A gain of 14. And the Saints first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And that one complete downfield to Johnson. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Barber. His throw incomplete. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara. With career touchdown number 96, he joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Saints are able to widen their advantage. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarter... offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more and he comes into this final weekend of the season as the NFL's leader in passing yards as he looks to end his strong campaign on a high note throwing to start the drive Barber he lets it go deep for Olave and got his man complete a big-time play there for New Orleans. And even 40 yards. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. Let's go, 
So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. Back to throw, Barber. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, these two teams, they met in New Orleans earlier in the year with the Saints coming out on top. So if they can win here in Tampa, they'd be able to claim the season sweep. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half, as he'll try again with a first down. Throwing to start the drive. Barber. Evades him at the 20. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. And that is a historic run for him, partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16 or 17 game schedule. Now his name will be forever linked with the best runners to ever play in that position. Give the tackle that time to Jordan Whitehead. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Operating from the gun, Barber steps away to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. And cue the applause, and there it is for him. The mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards. Just a third quarterback to reach that milestone, joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. That's a season's worth of work and a huge commitment to get him the touches that he needed to make that happen. Congratulations. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Looking to throw. Barber. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Ten more there and another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Now a play fake here on first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. 
Back to throw again. Out to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Saints go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Saints offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he enters his final weekend as the league leader in rushing yards by a quarterback. He has been a dynamic dual threat all season long. Operating from the gun. Barber, he'll buy some time right. And that'll be incomplete with the penalty marker down as well. And I think he was beyond the line of scrimmage when that ball left his hand. So they're going to decline that and choose to bring up second down. So did you feel like maybe this is just a mistake that they don't take the penalty yeah, possibly. here? Possibly. Either that or they feel like their defense just cannot be moved on very well, and they'd rather go ahead and use the downs. Back to throw. Barber on the move to his... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. He took it in from a yard out the last time they had the ball. He'll start here with a first down. Throwing to start the drive. Barber escaping the pressure right. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, 35 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions <laughs> like that? But a lot of offenses say... The Saints coming out now to take the field. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive that was the case one play to get into the end zone and now they'll try to duplicate that success here and it's rare for those moments to happen incredible when they do and you saw the celebration pure unbridled joy after that one throwing to start the drive barber flush to his right this one deep for wilson and that's caught inside the 30. touchdown New Cedric Wilson, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Saints have taken a six-touchdown lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. 
And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. Following the fumble recovery, Barber. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, at this juncture, CD, you normally see teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. But he wasn't really big on that. He was big on going ahead and scoring. He's got to reincarnate it right here. We're watching it in front of us. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage. They are powering through, and they're controlling this game. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder. If he wasn't a first-round pick, they want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 31. Looking to throw. Barber, flushed out right. Oh, look at the juke. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw. Barber. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Juwan Johnson, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints look poised to reach 17-0 as they add on to their lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QBing is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about any. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but... They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Second and six. Operating from the gun, Barber. Johnson's got it complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. They'll look to throw here on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. But Charles, they're still airing it out at this point despite that huge lead. And some people may be saying, well, why are they throwing the football? 
These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah, a lot of big grins, I think, from people in their families, from themselves. You're exactly right. Pad the stats when you get an opportunity. It'll certainly help you come contract time. A big play that time on the catch and run. 38 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. Camara diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Visitors offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he's been effective with the ball in his hands all season long. The NFL's leader among quarterbacks in touchdowns scored on the ground. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Forced out to his left. And going deep for Hill. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way down to the seven yard line. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense.